Samsung has officially shared full details about the processor that will power the Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26. The spotlight is on the new Exynos 2600 application processor, a chipset that represents a major step forward not only for Samsung's smartphones, but also for its chip making business. This processor is being described as the most powerful Exynos chip ever built, and it comes with several industry, first features that make it stand out. One of the biggest highlights of the Exynos 2600 is its manufacturing process. It is the first smartphone processor in the world to be built using a 7M process node. This alone puts it ahead of current flagship chips, most of which are still based on Thernan-M technology. The smaller process size allows more transistors to be packed into the chip, which leads to better performance and improved energy efficiency. Just like the earlier Exynos 2500, the new Exynos 2600 uses GATE, all-around or GAA transistor technology. This is an important shift away from the traditional FinFET design that has been used for years. In FinFET transistors, the gate controls the channel from three sides. With GAA transistors, the gate surrounds the channel on all four sides using nanosheet structures. This design reduces current leakage and improves drive current, which is the amount of electrical current flowing when the transistor is fully active. The practical benefit of GAA technology is simple. Chips become faster while using less power. For smartphones, this means smoother performance, better battery life, and improved thermal control. Samsung Foundry made the decision to fully replace FinFET with GAA starting at 3M, and now it is pushing this technology even further with SIM&M production. TSMC, Samsung's biggest rival, is also moving toward GAA, but Samsung has reached this milestone first in a commercial smartphone chip. Thanks to the 7M process and GAA design, Samsung claims the Exynos 2600 delivers up to a 39% improvement in CPU performance compared to the Exynos 2500. This is a significant jump and suggests that the new chip can finally compete head to head with Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon processors. Early Geekbench benchmark results already show the Exynos 2600 coming very close to the scores of the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. The Exynos 2600 uses a DecaCore CPU layout with a OnePlus 3 Play 6 configuration. There is one high performance core clocked up to 380 GHz for demanding tasks. Alongside it are three additional performance cores running at speeds of up to 0.25 GHz, handling heavy multitasking and sustained workloads. The remaining six cores are efficiency cores, clocked up to 2.75 GHz, designed to handle everyday tasks while consuming less power. This balanced setup allows the phone to deliver strong performance when needed without wasting energy during lighter use. On the graphics side, the chipset features the Nuke's Clips 9U60 GPU. This is the first smartphone GPU built on the Sikkim GAA process. It is based on AMD's RDNA 4 architecture, continuing the collaboration between Samsung and AMD. One of the key benefits of this GPU is ray tracing performance, which Samsung says can see up to a 50% improvement. This will result in better lighting, shadows, and reflections in supported mobile games. The Exynos 2600 also supports LPDDRFX RAM, ensuring fast memory speeds to match its powerful CPU and GPU. Samsung has also addressed one of the biggest complaints about past Exynos chips overheating. To solve this, the Exynos 2600 introduces a brand new feature called the Heat Path Blocker, or HPB. This is a copper heat sink integrated directly into the system on chip. It helps move heat away from critical components more quickly, keeping internal temperatures stable during heavy use. This is the first time such a feature has been used in a mobile processor, and it could make a big difference in sustained performance and long-term reliability. The launch plans for the Galaxy S26 series have also become clearer. The Galaxy S26 lineup is expected to be announced in late January or mid-February next year. The Galaxy S26 and Galaxy S26 Thus will use the Exynos 2600 in markets such as South Korea, Europe, key Asian regions, and developing countries. In the United States, China, and Japan, those models will instead use the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. The Galaxy S26 Ultra will rely exclusively on Qualcomm's Thernem Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 in all markets. Beyond smartphones, the success of the Exynos 2600 has bigger implications for Samsung Foundry. Over the past few years, Samsung has struggled with low yields on its advanced manufacturing nodes. This hurt its reputation and limited the availability of Exynos chips. Samsung Foundry currently holds around 6-8% to of the global foundry market, far behind TSMC's dominant 70% share. However, reports suggest that Samsung Foundry has significantly improved its yield rates, moving from the low 30% range to around 50-60%. to Higher yields mean more usable chips per wafer and lower production costs. Last year, low yields reportedly prevented Samsung from producing enough Exynos 2500 chips for the Galaxy S25 series, forcing the company to spend an extra $400 million to use Snapdragon processors instead. That situation does not appear to be repeating with the Galaxy S26 and S26 Plus. 
This is a strong sign that Exynos chips are ready to return in a big way. If the Exynos 2600 performs well in real-world use, it could mark